guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today we're going to be doing a reaction video now this was requested on my last reaction video i think it was a tiktok reaction and it's that i react to the newest 40 years of goth by lisa Ludica. i'm sorry i can't pronounce your name the global remake so i haven't got a clue what to expect in this video i watched the original ones but i didn't react to them so it's going to be interesting to watch them today so i'm gonna have them here and we can watch them together So it looks like we have a bunch of YouTubers and creators that I actually know from YouTube, like not personally, but I know them via the internet. And it looks like it's going to be all over the world. So I kind of got on the name Global Remake. So it looks like there are people who dress in those sort of styles we've featured. I'm really excited to see this. Let's watch this through. So we started out in 1980s and Batcave. I don't know a whole lot about Batcave slash trad goth fashion because I'm not really into that style of goth. Um, but I really love what this person's wearing. I love their haircut. From what I can tell, this looks very authentic to Batcave. <laughs> So this is Death Rock and we have the icon of Missy. E. She always turns out looks like every time Madame Absinthe turns out when she look when she does these outfits. I love this studded jacket. It must have taken forever. Again, I'm not very clued up on the Death Rock side of things, but from what I know this looks really good. And I really love that jacket and I kinda wanna make it now. It's gonna take me forever, but I wanna do it. So here we have trad goth. So we've already, we have three different styles of goth in the 80s. I am excited, this looks very trad to me. And it's Coffin Goblin from England. I'm from England as well. Like I said, don't know that much about, much about trad. It looks how I know trad to be. Yeah, I've seen a lot of iconic trad elements. Love it. The fates are coming. I just want to say that I love this person's house. <laughs> like, that looks amazing. They're nothing like you at all. I can hear the hundred hearts through the so rise up. This person's house is also gorgeous. I love the more romantic styles of the 90s when it comes to goth. Like, don't get me wrong, I love 80s trad and death rock and Batcave, the original, but I just love the romantic opulence of the 90s. Argentina, nice. I haven't got a clue about cyber, but we're gonna watch it anyway.
2000s and this is a Lolita look. I love Lolita. One day I will speak about Lolita on my channel uh, a little bit more depth but this looks gorgeous. Again with Lolita. Lolita is a completely different subculture to goth but there's also people who dress gothic Lolita so And Gothic Lolita is 100% part of the Goth subculture and the Lolita sub subculture. I'm not a Gothic Lolita, but I'd love to know if any of you are, how you find managing those two different worlds. some more romantic goth this is victorian goth in 2010s that dress looks fabulous and that person looks stunning and i wonder is that their house because i want that house was corp goth and I love corp goth I don't know if, I think one day I should show you guys how I dress to work but I love the concept and I love also that professionalism 1950s pin-up style gothic look they might actually do something on this we'll find out new goth but now I used to align myself very heavily with new goth but recently I think I've moved more towards kinder goth which we'll speak about in a different video but I love everything I've seen so far on the 2020s do the 9 to 5 stay alive I'm a kick and turn you see I see the light at the tunnel just let it blurry but, but I'm saying wow they look badass I love their outfit <laughs> made collaboration between so many different creators it must be so hard to have what like 14 different creators together in order to make such a beautiful video i love the wide display of different genders different ethnicities and different locations in the globe obviously this was only a handful of locations maybe in the future they'll do more locations there are some goth styles i'd have loved if they would included i'd have loved if they would include kinder goth that been really interesting to see. Maybe also, I'm not sure what it's really called, like that sort of early 2000s, late 90s. Molgoth? Molgoth. 
Labbing, included a little bit of mole goth and also maybe some of the modern day iterations of goth we see today that don't necessarily have a label and more just people style but maybe in the future they'll be doing that if they do I would love to see that included definitely and I like the fact that there are different people this time rather than just one model getting dressed up because if people are clearly comfortable in the styles they're wearing and they have all the pieces that make it go together so that was lovely and wonderful um, I feel really happy after watching that now it was nice to see some people get together and create something good especially when the world is feeling so bad right now but guys that was it from me i hope you enjoyed this video if you did try to hit a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below any other videos i should possibly react to and also what your reactions were to watching this video and if you're in this video say hi in the comments down below let's link up let's become friends but guys that's it from me a huge thank you to our channel members for supporting the channel that includes dry as shy if you want to become a channel member the link is in the description down below um, and i'll see you guys in the next one bye